Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can add a sticker border around an image that you bring into DaVinci Resolve 18. So the idea here is that this border is going to grow evenly out from everywhere on your image that has data. It'll work best with a PNG because a PNG allows for transparent backgrounds. So if I enable this paper background, it's really easy to see that with a PNG you're able to actually capture the shape of the character inside of your image. So let's start with a fresh copy. I'm going to drag it onto the timeline and then let's go over to the fusion page with the selected. So this is just a PNG image. Let's go to the fusion page. And what we're going to have here is the original and then a copy of the original image that's actually going to serve as a mask for a background color. And then that background color is going to determine what your grow border color is going to be. So on this node graph, we're going to be using one copy of the original image represented here as media in one to be the base image. And then the second copy is going to be scaled up with an alpha grow node. And then that shape is going to be used as the mask for a background color generator. And that color generator is going to end up determining what your border color is. So let's go ahead and add in the alpha grow node. So let's right click on the node graph, go to add tool, Go all the way down to Resolve Effects key, and it'll be the only option in here, Alpha, Matte, Shrink, and Grow node. So this is the node that will allow us to do a morph operation of Grow. But first, let's connect Media N1 into this node and show it on the left-hand side. So now we need to do the morph operation in the inspector. Click on Closing and change it to Grow. And now we need to take this radius slider and increase it as much as you would like the shape to become larger. So as you can see, it's going to grow out from all directions wherever there is color data in our image. And then this is going to give us the new shape for the background. So to use this as a mask, we need to first right click on the node graph, add tool, go down to generator and choose background. And now connect the output from alpha mat shrink and grow into background one. Now let's show this on the left view with a little left click. And by default, this is going to end up being basically a black shadow. If we look in the inspector, we can change this background color to anything we want. But before we go ahead and play around with that, let's merge this new background color in with the original media in one. So I'm going to click on merge on the top of the node graph. And now the background node is going to feed into the merge one as the background input. We want the original medium one to become the green foreground input as in it shows in front of the background. So let's disconnect media in one to media out. And now I'm going to connect media in one here to the green connector for the merge node. Now connect the merge one to media out. And we're essentially done. The only thing we need to change is going to be the background color to whatever you want it to be. So if I click here for color, we could change it to white if we want. So for the background color, we could click here and change it to white if we want. Now in this exact example, it's not going to work perfectly because we can see there's some white lines on the outsides of the squirrel. Uh, so that might not be desirable. You might want to take an image editor and get rid of those first before you apply this effect. Uh, but for any other color, it would work pretty well. So that's why I was playing around with some kind of red sticker glow. But on most images, you can just put it in white and it'll just give you a perfect border of your image. Or you can do the same with black. For this case, black would probably be better so that you can actually see the details of these little white lines on the outsides of the squirrel. So if we hit OK, we can go over to the edit page and we can see our sticker shape compared to the original. If I turn off fusion effects, and let's just drag a copy of the squirrel onto the timeline, compare that to the original with a very thin border and the updated version where we have a grown out sticker effect of any color we desire. So that's basically going to be it on how you can set up a sticker border for any image you want to bring into DaVinci Resolve 18. I've been Chris. I hope you all learned something from this video. Thanks for watching to the end and I will see all of you in my future video content.